New York Governor Kathy Hochul in Yonkers today. It's her latest stop as she tours the state talking to teachers, students, parents, and school administrators about a potential ban on cell phones in schools. Now, Hochul says cell phones and social media are having a negative impact on the mental health of students and distracting them from their education. Eyewitness News reporter Stefan Kim is in Yonkers this afternoon. Joins us live now. Stefan? Well, Sandra, it is no secret that cell phones can be a distraction for students in classrooms. In fact, according to a new recent Pew Research poll, 72% of teachers across the nation say phones hinder learning. But the question is how to implement such a ban. To navigate that question, Governor Hochul brought her listening tour to Yonkers, Yonkers this morning to hear from students, parents, and teachers. Several school districts in Westchester County have already implemented cell phone bans. So those superintendents were here to share their experiences as well. On top of being a distraction, as you mentioned, the governor is focusing on the negative mental health impact cell phones and social media have on students. So she also convened a mental health roundtable this morning to tackle that issue. Experts say social media instigates fights and feeds the frenzy of attention. The governor is working with the state legislature on a bill early next year as part of her get offline, get outside campaign. A uh, prohibition on this, like Middletown, talked about the fact that young people are communicating more uh, in the hallways and in the lunch periods and just actually acting like children again without the compulsion to be staring at their cell phone and communicating online throughout the day. Now, meanwhile, you might assume that parents and teachers are all for the ban, but we spoke with some teachers that say maybe not a full ban, and you might, you might assume students hate the idea, but you might have guessed they're wrong too and be surprised. We'll have all of that and explain that today on First at Four. Reporting live in Yonkers, Sefan Kim, Channel 7. Eyewitness News.